<clears throat> All right, yeah, I uh, thought I'd do a video about the current heavyweight situation. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been saying this now for a couple of weeks, that I think that the heavyweight division now, January 2016, since Tyson Fury defeated Vladimir Klitschko the other month, I think the heavyweight division is now one of the most exciting divisions in boxing. And, um, you know, take away the titles, take away the alphabet soup, take away the multiple WBA title bollocks, take away all of that, and I just have a look at the key players in the heavyweight division, which would be, say, the top 10, and then the next sort of 20 contenders, or, you know, there probably isn't 30 contenders at heavyweight, but let's say the top 10, and then the next 10, and you've got really exciting bouts, and that's what people want as boxing fans, that's what fans want, they want good fights. Forget about who's the real champion, you know, Charles Martin, he's now the IBF champion, we all know he's not a champion, he beat um, Glazkov, who injured his knee during the fight. Uh, nobody had heard of Charles Martin. I mean, hardcore fans had. You know, he's, he's been coming up the ranks. But nobody, uh, you know, generic sports fans have ever heard of people like him. Uh, nobody's heard of Dominic uh, Brazil. Brazil? I can't remember his name. Uh, I, can't, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, these are sort of like prospect sort of level fighters. They're sort of low-level contenders. They're coming up. Uh, that um, Dominic, who I just mentioned, he uh, beat Amir Manzor um, this past weekend. You know, I'm going to like just read out some names, and I struggle to think who would be able to tell me that these do not make for good, exciting clashes, intriguing contests. Tyson Fury, the current you know number one heavyweight in the world, or at least the number one champion. David Hay, come back, looked great. Deontay Wilder, uh, intriguing because we don't know what he's, we still don't know what he's got. He's the WBC champion, but we still don't know how good he is because he still hasn't fought anybody of a Povetkin level, of a David Hay level, etc. Povetkin, like I just mentioned. Uh, Lucas Brown, big puncher. We don't know what he's got. He's intriguing because is he as good as his punch suggests or is he, uh, you know, is he just a, a low level contender that won't do anything? Uh, Luis Ortiz, possibly the best um, technical fighter at heavyweight. Joshua, um, Joseph Parker, is it Joseph Parker? I think so. Um, or is it Joshua Parker? I can't remember. Um, him, like Anthony Joshua, both big punchers. Possibly the two best prospects in, box in, uh, in heavyweight boxing. Charles Martin, the IBF champ. And then Vladimir Klitschko. Still don't know what he's got left, because, I mean, before his loss to Tyson Fury, which was fairly close, I mean, I thought Tyson Fury won it, you know, by a few points, but Klitschko wasn't, you know, battered, so to speak. I thought, thought that Fury pulled off the, the perfect game plan, though. Uh, so throw him in, in, the, uh, in the reckoning. And then you've got Bumani Stavern, Dillian White, Derek Chisora, uh, is it Carlos Takam? Um... Kubrat Pulev, still in there. Glazkov, as we know, um, he was undefeated, I believe. Yeah, he was undefeated when he fought um, Charles Martin. And uh, he only lost because of a knee injury. Shagayev, Ruslan Shagayev, he's still around. Mike Perez, still around. He's suffered a few defeats. Artur Spilka, rugged boxer. Some people believe he was beating Ant uh, Deontay Wilder until he got knocked out. Bryant Jennings, Andy Ruiz Jr., Robert Hellenius, who's still undefeated, even though, you know, I think we all know he isn't. Huey Fury, uh, Dominic Brazil, uh, Marius Vark. There's still names out there who, uh, you know, are contenders. And the first, you know, ten names that I mentioned were all... Uh, are all intriguing contests. Nobody can tell me they wouldn't want to see Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, or either of those guys against David Haye, or any of those guys against Alexander Povetkin, or Lucas Brown against one of those guys, or Luis Ortiz. And um, the WBA, I don't know whether they're cleaning up their app, at the, their act, I don't think they are, but they've got a, a, uh, heavyweight, com a heavyweight competition, uh, like a heavyweight tournament um, ongoing. Uh, where on the one side, uh, Tyson Fury and Vladimir Klitschko will fight the winner of Luis Ortiz versus whoever. Is it Shagayev? Or I'm not sure. No, someone else, I think. And then Shagayev is fighting 
Lucas Brown, I think, yeah. And then the winner of that will fight. So anyway, I think that uh, Luis Ortiz wins that. Uh, Luis, um, yeah, Luis Ortiz wins that. Um, so anyway, let me know your thoughts. Because like I say, I think that out of all of the divisions in boxing today, heavyweight is probably the most intriguing now. And I genuinely mean that. After that is probably the flyweight divisions. Uh, in terms of quality per sort of per 10 guys sort of thing. Uh, I don't know how you, you'd say that. Um, in terms of how many good top contenders there are in a division, I'd say heavyweight takes it because Pacquiao is now at the end of his career. Timothy Bradley's at the end of his career. Uh, Lucas Matisse has lost. Amir Khan can't get the fights. And, you know, is he that good? Um, Danny Garcia, you know, he's very good. So at welterweight, like I just said, some of those guys, Mayweather's already gone. So who's there at welterweight? About half a dozen guys. Who is there at light middleweight? Cotto's gone. Uh, Alvarez might be moving up. Uh, Lara, you know, not that many good good guys. Super middleweight is a bit barren at the moment. You know, D James DeGale... He's still there, Frotch is gone, Ward is gone, uh, you know, so basically con in terms of contenders, heavyweight takes it in my opinion, so let me know what you think of the heavyweight division.